And there is more development happening right now. Leaders are getting together. They're unveiling their master plan for the future of the Eastern Hills Mall. Now, this new proposal calls for a major transformation into a town center, including retail, office space, and residential areas. These changes being talked about right now. This meeting is underway at this minute. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Proya is there. We're here at the Eastern Hills Mall, which within two years time could look completely different. That's because Uniland developers have released a plan to transform the empty parking lots and empty storefronts into a happening place. It's a one of a kind design. I think it's going to be unlike anything else in Buffalo. There's actually nothing like it in all of Western New York. We do expect to draw people from Canada as well. We do see this as a tourism destination um, because it doesn't exist anywhere. Uniland Development has released plans to transform the Eastern Hills Mall into the Eastern Hills Town Center. It will not look anything like the vast parking lot and mall that we have today. There will be storefronts, parks, hotels, apartments, offices, the list goes on. It's like a mini town of its own. And they talked about it, it just being a, um, an environment where you can spend the day, uh, which I can't think of anywhere else in, in Buffalo right now where I can spend the whole day. This is residential. The focus is to keep the town center local. We want local retailers, we want local business owners, we want people to be able to expand at our location. Maybe they have another location right now. Duff's will be one of those local staples. It sounds like a, a, you can't miss opportunity here. Developers estimate this whole project will cost roughly $300 million. It involves tearing down a portion of the Eastern Hills Mall. We do envision deconstructing parts of this mall. Um, we want to try to save as much as we can, but in some cases it just doesn't make sense for our plan. Uniland is aiming to break ground in 2021. They're holding a public meeting right now to reveal more information about the plan. We'll have those details for you tonight on 7 Eyewitness News at 11. In Clarence, Olivia Proya, 7 Eyewitness News.